Anthony Kim is back in town and we're going to analyse this golf swing today to see what things you can build into your golf game to help you be a better golfer. I really love Anthony's setup and there isn't any unique parts of it that I would like to point out. But what you'll notice towards the top of the backswing is that he does get the club into a unique position that you really need to look out for. In this first checkpoint, I'm just going to reference the leading edge of the golf club versus his spine angle. In regards to a square baseline club face position, I would say that Anthony's is relatively open, especially if you're comparing it to other PGA Tour players. And this trend continues all the way up to the top of the backswing. Now I want to point out as to why this club face is just slightly open at the top of the backswing. What you'll see in Anthony's wrists is a little bit of cupping at the top of your swing. Now I'm sure you've heard on YouTube or Instagram that cupping is extremely bad. Well, if you can match it up with something else, then it is not bad at all. Anthony creates a movement in his downswing that allows this specific position, this cup wrist, to work for this club face position. And so just because you hear it on Instagram or YouTube saying that it's wrong, doesn't mean it is. It's obviously worked for Anthony, and soon we might start to see him back on a tour, which would be unbelievable to see him out there flushing it again. So we're gonna zoom out here, and now we're going to analyze why this cup wrist position for Anthony works in his golf swing. As he transitions into the downswing, what you'll notice, if we just direct our attention to this glove hand, he's going to twist his wrist in a way that will close this club face. Now we're seeing this angle created and we're going to see what happens in this next frame here. It starts to flatten out dramatically. So now there isn't any cupping to the wrist at all. And what we're starting to notice with this club face is that we start to see more grooves on the club meaning anthony is closing the club face and because it was open at the top of the backswing and now he's adding in some closing elements then the golf club is going to be square or the club face is going to be square and towards impact and again the next frame we're going to take a look at he continues to flex his left wrist or what we call bowing of the wrist and now we start to see even more grooves on the club and we start to see his wrist in a really flat position there or what we call neutral going from cupped to a neutral position and now we're going to zoom out and watch the beauty of this downswing which allows him to absolutely flush the golf ball i do want to point out this position here anthony's shoulder plane and shaft line in this position here are relatively parallel and he's able to work the club in an efficient way in the downswing that allows his tilts to remain in good positions if you start to see the shoulder plane getting too upright you may notice some right balls some overdraws and if you see the shoulder plane getting too level then you might see the opposite of that with a left ball or big slices but anthony is in a neutral position here with the shoulder plane and where a shaft line is coming out after impact and it's really no wonder why he's an absolute ball striker